if you're wondering why we might be going a little faster than usual, there are actually multiple reasons. So one is because there is rain just to the north and south of us here between Mount Sterling and Washington Courthouse. Another reason is, well, Andrew Kloppenstein, because we can. That's right. Yeah, we're in front of a brand new Case IH early riser planting unit. Tell me about the unit we have behind us here. So we have a Case IH 16 row 2150. We are running this style planter for the second year in a row and we're currently putting in speed trials just south of Mount Sterling. We're doing five, seven and a half, 10 and 12 and a half miles per hour on a replicated randomized block study. And uh, it is completely equipped with precision planting 2020 speed tube and V-set electric drive meters. So we are going about uh, 10 miles per hour right now, doing roughly about 49 acres an hour. And on the turn, we'll be doing another uh, configuration. Yeah, I want to show people this as you and I visit that we're going 10.3 right now and just keep on going down the line. Uh, so I know it's been a challenging planting season for farmers of all types. I uh, have to imagine that's the case from a testing side of things too. Yeah, it's been a real challenge for us this year as we've had to uh, do a little bit of replant. This is the first time in about four years we've had to do any replant for us. We've only done re replant on 80 acres of corn, so we've been on the lighter side of things and no replant on beans. This is our last 50 acres today, and this will be the earliest as far as uh, ag engineering finishing up uh, during the planting season that we've ever had, regardless of the spring. Now, I know that we did this type of testing last year, but things are a little bit different here in 2017. Yeah, so last year uh, the spring was quite a bit different and uh, we, it was our first year with uh, the high speed planter and this year we are working ahead and making some changes to the planter such as downforce so we run a little bit higher downforce. Uh, normally you have 100 pounds as standard with the uh, 2020. This year we're running 150 to reduce that balance and vibration that you may see. As you're running 10 plus mile an hour here, a lot of farmers will say, yeah, I'm planting more acres per hour, but what am I giving up? And it looks like by the singulation number, not too much. Yeah, there is not much being given up right now. Uh, we see a, a lot of benefits in the singulation. Just because it's a 10 mile per hour planter does not mean that you actually have to go 10 mile per hour. We see a lot of farmers doing seven and a half to eight. I'll show you all the technology that uh, Andrew's using as he goes through this testing. and. And it's not just here in uh, Fayette County that you're testing. You've been pretty much all over the state and actually planted one piece of ground uh, at Farm Science Review that's going to be pretty special. Yeah, so this year we also used V-Set Select on our splitter planter and we actually have a design out this year. Last year we had Brutus and this year look for photos in about July and hopefully we will release those to the public. You're not going to tell me what it is, are you? Oh, uh, no, no, no <laughs> secrets yet. <laughs> Andrew, I, I don't think it ever feels natural to go 10 mile an hour planting corn. Has it gotten used to you yet? No, I, I am still trying to get used to it <laughs> and I think it's going to be rather difficult uh, for some farmers to grasp doing this. Now we just made the turn and this speed trial is five miles per hour, so this is rather painful as the uh, dark <laughs> <laughs> to the yeah, they're coming up right up next to us here, and boy, when you have a high-speed planter behind you going five mile an hour, isn't much fun. No, it's, no. it's painful. Andrew Kloppenstein, my guest, uh, he's with Ohio State doing some speed trials here uh, just between Washington Courthouse and Mount Sterling for our cab cam here on June 5th. And uh, as Andrew mentioned, they'll be wrapping up planting uh, of corn here later on today. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Ty Higgins. We'll see you down the road.